Watch this video to learn how you can use your smartphone to gain better control of your vibrato. Now vibrato as we use it as saxophonists essentially is a narrow fluctuation of the pitch. And one of the things that we have to be careful of when using jaw vibrato is that these pitch fluctuations don't obscure our perception of the center of the pitch. Now regarding intonation, sometimes players have a great ability and a great ear to adjust the pitch and play in tune. But the problem arises when we use vibrato sometimes that can throw everything out of whack if we're not careful. So it's very important that we train ourselves to be able to play in tune both with and without vibrato. Now my process for doing this involves my smartphone. And I use an app called Tunable and is available on Apple and Android platforms. Now this is a tuner and it carries multiple functions, but I use it primarily as a control device. Now before we go any further, I want to first clarify that this video is not meant to be a how-to on producing vibrato. Maybe I'll do that in a separate video. But this is meant to be a rather advanced tutorial on how to better control and fine tune your vibrato. So let's take a look at this app. Essentially, you have a white line that represents where you're placing the pitch. And ideally, you want this line to fall right in the center of the screen, as you see here. You also have a dark green field that represents your target area. The smaller this area is, the less room you have for error. Now in the settings, Tunable allows you to widen and narrow this area. Now for more advanced players, try making this field relatively narrow. If the white line falls either to the right or the left of this green field, you'll begin to see red. And just to clarify, to the right means that you're sharp to the left means that you're flat. Now if your pitch falls within the green area, you'll see that the entire screen starts to expand to green. This is what we're looking for. Now when I practice with this app, I hold my pitch steady without vibrato until the screen expands to green. And then I add vibrato. The goal here is that the vibrato should vibrate within the center of the green field. Start on a note that's easy to control, and I usually start on the F sharp. Then I move down a half step and do the same thing until I reach the bottom of the instrument. When you reach the low B flat, return to the F sharp and move up to the top of the instrument using the same process. you'll quickly realize that this is not as simple as it sounds. Also, pay attention to the tendencies that you have. You might tend to play flat or sharp once you add the vibrato. If this is the case, repeat the process on that given note until you're able to center your vibrato a little better. Also, some notes might be more challenging to do this on than others. You may also realize that the upper register tends to vibrate like crazy. This takes great control to nuance your jaw motion so that the flexibility of your upper register doesn't damage the output of your vibrato. Remember, you want to control your high register just as well as you do the middle. Now, Feel free to be as creative as you like with your exercises. You can, and you probably should, do these at various dynamic levels. You can even add some large intervals or large leaps into your study. But the important thing here is that at the end of the day, what you gain is control and consistency. You can even integrate your vibrato exercises with your long tone regime. And if you like, you can refer to my long tone video that's linked in the description below. You can visit my website at robertyoungsaxophone.com and send me a message, and I'll be more than happy to send you a PDF of my long tone exercises.
And as I like to say, make sure you practice patiently and practice carefully. Now, if you enjoyed that video, you can easily watch my other videos and you can click on a couple of them right here on the screen. Also, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and that way you'll get immediate updates as I upload new videos in the weeks to come.